Okay, welcome to part two of our little tripod series. This is part two of six. Today we're going to look at some of the little guys. Last week we looked at the Amazon Basic and kind of took a look at that one there who actually stands up to 60 inches tall and can shrink down to 25 inches. But today, our little new ones we're going to look at today are just a little bit tinier. We're going to look at some of the small guys and some of the different things we can do with them. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, getting ready to bring the first one, a tripod, little tripod out here. I was just teasing you about seeing the little mini guys out there. But I also wanted to mention that down below in the description, I've gone ahead and put all the links to all the different tripods. You'll see link number one, link number two today for the first tripod I'm going to show you. And there's going to be a second one today. And we're also going to talk about the Manfrotto one, which is similar to the first one if you're thinking about wanting to get that one too. So... Without any ado, let me bring out the first one right here. This one has a kind of a weird name. I kind of call it, I think they said it's called the, the Polar Duck along that line there. Again, Manfrotto makes one that's almost like completely identical to it. I think the big difference between them is this one's about $10.99 right now on Amazon. And um, the Manfrotto one's about $20. you will get $19.99 there. Um, outside of putting the little name on it, I think they're pretty much very similar to it. This is what you call a ball head one, where you push a little button on the side right here, and then the ball head is swivel can moves around right there and set it up however you want. Release the button on the side, and it locks it right into place. It's got a little top right here. It's going to sit and adjust. What you do is put your uh, camera or whatever right on top of it. You can kind of, if it doesn't angle right, you can kind of hold it in there. I also like using the legs as a handle. It does not have any rubber outside. It is all plastic. This is probably a nice, good, durable plastic that's on it. And it does have little rubber feet right on the bottom there. You can go ahead and see that right there. So when you set it down on the surface here, it doesn't want to slide and stuff. It'll go ahead and hold it right in place. Uh, I have noticed a lot of people said they broke in the legs. Probably putting them down. Or you put it down, slam something down on it or slam it down. Yeah. But I've had this one for pretty over a year right now. I've done a lot of use and abuse to it. And it still works pretty good. What I like to use this one for is I don't put any of the big heavy cameras on it. I don't know what its maximum weight is they can hold, but I won't put a big DSLR on it. I will put um, little micro or small cameras on them. And I will put the GoPro on here. And the GoPro sits right there. And again, if the GoPro would, doesn't really sit on it and it's kind of loose, you can kind of set them the way you want him and then tighten up the bottom and tighten them up right there and hold them in place right there. He's great for this little situation here, where he can be used as with the GoPro. You can grab him, use him a handle, and he's hold on nice and good right there. Good grip right there, he's not letting it go. So, I would recommend this one here. When I first got this one, I actually got it from a company where I had bought something else and they sent me an email saying, hey, we're gonna send this to you because you kind of want it, like a little contest thing or something like that. And I was like, okay, go ahead and send it to me. About two weeks later, I still hadn't received it, so I thought, well, if you hadn't said anything, I wouldn't have even known I was getting it. But now that you told me I was going to get it, where is it? So I kind of emailed them back and said, hey. And they told me, they said, I'm oh, sorry, we were sold out of them at the moment. We had just got them back in stock. I'll ship you out one now. So, but at first I didn't know what I was going to do with them. But now I use them on a regular basis almost all the time. He's great. You set them out there, put your camera right on them, have them hold your camera there. You can kind of flip them, have them get different angles. You can flip them forward. You can do a lot of different things right there like that with them. So this is a little good one to go ahead and get right there. Now, let me bring out number two here. This one doesn't really have a name. I <laughs> mean, just go mini tripod. That's all they call them in there right now. Um, he's really good too. Now, do I want to stick a GoPro or a big camera on this little guy? No. This little tripod, he has extendable legs, so he can get kind of tall there. What I do with this one, he has a completely different purpose for then the camera use. This one more hangs around with the little recorder. He works great for this thing right here. The recorder has a little quarter 20 screw in the bottom, if I get him in there, let's go ahead and get him on there. We'll screw him right in. Come on. You can also, if it doesn't fit right, turn it adjust right there to go ahead and tighten them up right there. And you get them in this spot. And there it is. I can move my recorder around and I've got a nice little thing for them. If I want to go ahead and angle the recorder a different way, 
I can angle my quarter up that way, depending on how he's sitting. So if I got him sitting off to the side over there recording me or something, I can have him angled that way. If I got him sitting somewhere else, I can flip him around and angle him down. The little uh, tension thing right over here just tightens up. A little screw right here tightens the ball on the top of it. I can make it shorter. So I can kind of set them however I want right there. Or I can just go ahead and loosen it back up and readjust them to right over however I want. Both these little ones are little. They're tiny. Yes. And they're not the big monster tripods that you get out there. But they do have a purpose for them here. And I do use these a lot. Like I said, with the recorder of this one, he travels around his room a lot sometimes and he does a lot of different things. Great place to set them up and hide them right there for me. And again, this one for the GoPro is a perfect one for that. I know you have ones with the selfie sticks. You can go ahead and put them on too. But this is a nice little quick running gun one right there for those. So that is our tripods for today that we've looked at. We've got some more coming at you next week. Next week's going to be another two more again that we're going to look at. They're going to get a little bit bigger than these guys right here. And then we're going to start moving into the big monster tripods right after that. Start getting some of the big guys. So see you next week for the next set of tripods.